partner to my right, wearing the blue trunks, weighing in at 236 pounds, his professional record, 17 wins, two defeats, 12 wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from Moscow, Russia, the number four ranked heavyweight by the WBA. Professional record that reads 31 victories, one controversial loss, 26 wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from Baltimore, Maryland, the number six ranked heavyweight in the world, according to the IBF. Introducing Hasim the Rock Rockman. Rockman. All right, boxers, obey my commands, protect yourself at all times. The cup is a little bit high, all this is good. This is all good scoring, blow, okay? All right, let's touch gloves. Have a good, clean fight. Let's go. Rachman is a big, strong kid with potential, a work in progress. Moskayev will show us how much progress he has made. Rockman also has a lot of natural talent. Both of these guys may look to you like plotters, but both are quick and athletic, and both want to set up behind the jab and box. Rockman's handlers say they must find a way to take away Moskayev's jab and prevent him from developing a boxing rhythm. Rock has promised us that he is evolving toward becoming a more aggressive right-hand puncher and therefore a more exciting fighter. But off the first eight rounds against Tua and the brilliance of his performance there, you might not ask him to change a thing. Moskav tries the left hook to the body. Rock countering with the left hook upstairs. Yeah, Rock really looked good as a boxer against Tua. Showed a lot of patience, showed a good jab. He was very smart that night. Locked after the bell at the end of the ninth round, wasn't given time to recover as he should have been. And that was critical to the outcome of the fight. face. Rachman not able to get off to that solid rhythm he developed early on against Tua here. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Rachman trying to pound with the right hand. Misses over the top. Now wax Maske up with a left hook. Maske up missing wildly with his own left. Both of these guys are throwing some pretty big punches, but I don't think either one of them, either one of them has really been known for his one-punch knockout power. Well, they both set up with their weight on the back foot, by and large. Yeah, they do. They still are big enough to produce knockout punches. One-punch knockout punches. discourage a jab is to keep throwing that right hand out and that's what Rockman is trying to do. He's already reddened Maskayev's face. And a solid jab on the, the nose of Maskayev as round one comes to a close. Good round. Very good round. Leave it in. Leave it in. Leave it in. Very good round. Get your right foot to the side of you. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
More speed. Keep your elbows in and don't reach. Right foot to the side, chin down. What I want you to do is kick off that right foot and use double jabs and rhythm change jabs. You hear me? Come on now. Get your focus in it. Get some water. No pail, no water. You hear me? Pop the jab, be sharp. Right in there. Just spit it right in there. Don't worry about it. Pop your hands, be sharp. Change your angle. Give him that, hey, hey, come on. And snap your punch. So you saw the copy box numbers that showed the edge to Rachman in jab effectiveness in round number one. Significant because both fighters want to set up and box behind the jab. Both of these guys appear to be very physically strong guys. And they both have to have good chance to have gone 11 rounds and 9 rounds with David Tua. Good jab by Masquez. you're looking at two fighters with distinctly similar styles. I mean, they both want to do the same thing in pretty much the same way. Makes for a war of wills. The sky off is remembering to go to the body a little bit more, I think, than Rocky. But you're right. There's so much alike to this unbelievable. Although I think Rockman has the edge and hand speed and agility. Yeah, Rockman should be able to get there first, it appears. Moscow blasts him out of there with a left to end the exchange. Good right hand by Rockman. Rockman looks quicker with the right hand, too. Moscow seeming to telegraph just a little bit when he wants to come over the top. This would seem to be a pretty good action fight for heavyweights if you hadn't seen the first. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Larry. <laughs> well, you have to put this one second. If the other fight had been second, no one would have gone to sleep tonight. Rockman beginning to work his jab more frequently. <laughs> Moscow beginning to reach just a little bit as he tries to go against that jab. Rock would do a little bit more body work now, which is smart. Left hook lands inside for Moscow. Momentarily stopping Rockman. Now here comes Hasim again, cracking to the body. job of defending Muscav's right hand, too. Hard right hand by Rockman to punctuate round number one. And he, he all but told Moscav he was going to throw it, too. <laughs> Back up now. I need to hit you with the right hand. And now entering the ring is April Wilson, who is a uh, KO model. That means she's represented by KO models right here in the Atlantic City area. And that is all we know about April. Stay close and hook off that jab and shoot a right hand. And snatch him when you shoot that hook, snatch him. When you get real close and you're touching him with the jab, throw the right hand straight right down the 50-yard line with speed. And come back with a quick hook. Stay focused. Come on. Don't go to sleep on me in a rock. Discipline. Come on.
One week short of Holyfield Lewis too, and these are two heavyweights hoping to move up the contender ladder. Exciting moment. Rockman lands his right hand. Moscow wants to trade rights with Rockman. He's willing to take Rockman's right for the chance to throw his own. He's made that clear. Rockman probably isn't going to abandon his structure quite that quickly. Took lands from Moskayev. The reason he's landing that because after he threw the right hand, he noticed that Rockman was getting relaxed after the right hand came at him. So now he added the left hook, which was pretty smart. <laughs> Moskayev lives in Staten Island. Trained for this fight at the legendary Gleason's Gym in New York. His trainer, Bob Jackson, would like to have taken him away to a traditional training camp in the Poconos, but Moscow said, no, no, I have to be with my family in New York, and Jackson said, that's okay. He's a throwback in a lot of ways. They trade right hands, and Rachman backs Moscow up. Stop one, stop one, stop one, stop one. Get out, get out, get out, get out, come on. Started to land that jab a little bit, but so is Rockman now. Yeah, Rockman should win this on his edge in quickness and agility. But he's got to be careful not to let Moskayev catch him with one big right hand shot. Well, Moskayev has already lured him into a slug fist, which is not the best thing for Rockman, I don't think. No, he should be boxing. Although I think he just hurt Moskayev. Come on, come on. Good job, good job, bro. Good job. Thank you. In case you missed the premiere, we invite you to tune in for Howard Cosell telling it like it is. A revealing look at the sportscaster who revolutionized his industry. Cosell's tell it like it is persona has been frequently imitated, but in the minds of most, never duplicated. Follow Howard's career from his days as an aspiring lawyer to his days as the most controversial sports broadcaster in history. Howard Cosell, still showing this month on HBO. It's the only time you can nail me. Change your angles and get off. Sharpen your hands up. You got me? We got to start piling up on this guy. Now. Let's go. What do I want? Double jab, straight. Success. Kick off that right foot. And when you back him up with that jab, keep the pressure on him with the jab. Shorten that right hand. Roy, do you think Jefferson can handle no. fighters of this size? And experience? Uh, most definitely. Are you kidding me? He gets a chance to land his left hook. He'd have knocked them both out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't let's know. not get too ecstatic. These guys are a little bit bigger, and they've proven that they have good chance, so I don't know. And, and they have skills. Before we go to Letterman scorecard, just let me say one thing. I told you they were similar. Through round three, CompuBox numbers. They both threw 173 punches. Rockman landed 62, and Moskayev landed 65. How close it can you get? You can't get any closer than that. <laughs> Harold, how do you have it scored? Jim, I got it close. 29-28, <laughs> two rounds to one. I've seen Rockman. Jim, I thought he won the first two rounds. He really landed nice little chips, and that good right hand that he just landed there, because Moskayev is just too straight up. Doesn't move his head at all. But all the comeback in the third round, I thought he had fourth the rock. So I got it real close, 2-1, Rockman. And have, Rockman starting to let his right hand go a lot more frequently now. What, Larry? I have it. 2-1 for Moscow. So it's close. And Harold and Larry are one point apart on their cards. And it's starting to be a pretty entertaining fight.
may be more entertaining than Rockman ought to allow it to be. There you go. I was just about to say that, Jim. You may not want to hear this, and, and we don't want to see these type of fights on television always. We want to see a good fight, but Rockman can win this fight with a jab alone. He can make it a much easier fight for himself with a jab. Sure could. And a much smaller fight. Instead, he's accepting Moskayev's invitation to trade big right-hand shots, Which and therefore making it possible for anything to happen. That's right. Anything to happen, and it puts a little bit more wear and tear on you as a boxer to take that many punches. But Rockman is aware and sensitive to the fact that he's been criticized for being too dull, too guarded in there, and he promised us he would be more exciting, and certainly he has been, and he takes a right hand flush from Moskayev for his trouble. Yeah, he's been much more exciting, but he's also been hit with much more bigger, I mean, with a lot more bigger punches stop than we've ever seen him hit with before. Step back. Nice job. I like that. He usually does not get caught with these type of punches. <laughs> Not this frequently anyway. No, it took David Tua several rounds to begin to land some of the kinds of shots that Rachman has taken from Moskayev frequently in the first four rounds here. And the problem with that is that if Tua could have landed that big punch early in the fight, would that have been a problem? Well, you know, I believe he's taking the right tack. He's trying to show that He's a world-class fighter and a challenger for the championship, and he's got to take risks. Yeah, I know you like to see those risks taken. <laughs> no? He sure does. Look at me. Relax. Race, race, Jalen. Race, Jalen. Race. you. Swallow this one. Breathe, breathe. Swallow. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Bob. Breathe. Breathe, breathe. The jab is working, but you got to keep it coming, okay? Double on it and step up. Step up. He didn't he reach it. I know he did. Listen, look, let's worry about the fight. Come here, come here, stay with me. Work behind the jab. I want the jab low, and I want you to stay low. Okay. Stay low with the jab, and I only want straight right hands and left hook. Let me go. Stay right on him with the jab. We need to take him out. Out is scheduled for 10 rounds. Go, go. Letterman giving the last card to Rockman. Wipe, wipe the corner up, wipe the corner up, don't wipe the corner up. These rounds are close to even and difficult to score. Jab by Rockman. Rock has an unusually wide stance. Right, stop, Roy, does that stop, limit stop, his stop, chance stop, to be stop, a power stop, puncher? Stop, stop. No, it doesn't. It should make it better because he should be able to get more leverage like this. That's why you spread the legs wide. Look at Tommy Hearns. He kept his legs wide apart because he could get good leverage like that. Mm -hmm. Rockman now landing his left hook. I think Rockman thinks that he hurt Maestro. Yeah, I think he believes he hurt him with that left hook. That's why he went chasing after him. Now Maestro has regained whatever might have been lost. Step back, step back. Come on. Good body shot by Maestro. In the last round, Moskayev began fainting with the right hand and dipping his shoulder and firing the left hook to the body. Landed that one a couple of times before Rockman stopped falling for the faint. Good right hand down the middle by Moskayev. Moskayev starting to show stamina. He's holding to a higher level of energy more consistently than Rockman. Somebody's mouthpiece is laying on the canvas. I think it's Moscow. Yeah, it's Moscow. Time! 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 Moscow, in those moments, remained the aggressor even with the mouthpiece out. 
come on, come on. so far for Oleg Moskaya, who has more than doubled Rachman and landed punches in this round and lands a big right hand there. Now Rock trying to come back with a late round comeback, lands his own right hand. Rock is really throwing some big punches here. I think he insists again that he has Moskaya hurt. Relax, relax. Calm, huh? You're good. Deep breath. Come on, relax. I need you to breathe. I need you to get it up there for three, Rock, okay. and hold it. You're fine. Six run. Keep your elbows in. Keep your elbows in and your hands up. And relax. Don't load up. What do I want? Kind of punches. Speed punches. Speed straight. Put your balance. Bop, 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 bang. You hear me? Good boy. Yeah, boy. Come on, babe. You just gotta move those hands and mix the hard ones in and just shift your angle. He's, He's very wide tired. open. He's tired. He's wide open for the one-two. Right hand by Maskiav lands flush. Doesn't seem to affect Rachman. By CompuBox numbers, round five was huge for Moskayev. He landed. 42 punches, 26 of them power get up, shots, get up, get up, get up, go, according to CompuBox numbers. But the late flurry might have caused some judges to consider giving the round to the Rock. 10 round fight, Hasim Rachman bearing down on Oleg Moskaya. Both fighters have had their moments. Blood flowing from the left ear now of Moskaya. I think he just cut Rachman. Or oh, either there's blood or rock was iron from my Stop punching, stop punching, stop punching. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Come on, come on, I got you. Nice and easy, fellas. There you go. Stop punching, stop punching, get out, step out. Rock was doing some good body work here. And at a perfect time. Yeah, useful to take away some of the steam Moskayev was developing in the last round. Chuck McGregor urging Rockman between rounds to go back to Moskayev's body. Stop, stop, stop. And Hasim showing you that he does listen. There's blood coming from Moskayev's right ear. Left ear. Left ear. No, yes, left and ear. And I'm not sure why there's so much blood coming out of the left ear. Is that dangerous, Roy? I mean, I don't, you know, we don't see that very often. Oh, solid Could right be a hand busted from ear drum, but I don't think he's too dangerous. If it's a busted ear drum, is he hearing ringing in his ears? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, but, sometimes, but that's all he was hearing already anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, huh? Nope. Stop punching. Good job. There you go. Step back. Come on, fellas. Moscow is supposed to head hunting now. He's relentless. Moscow lands a right. Rock took it very well. They straight at rights, actually. Moskaya oh, in trouble. Rockman trying to land one big right. Rockman going to the body. Well done. And while that was having that exchange, Moskaya nodded to him and said, Yeah, let's go. Go to corner. Go to corner, guys. Mouth this out. I don't, I don't feel it. We've seen too much of this tonight, Roy. <laughs> 
I mean, it seems like a strategic or tactical move sometimes. Yeah, but sometimes it wasn't. Closing seconds of round six. And if round five was a big one for Moskayev, round six has been huge for Haseem Rachman. Push him off and get right back on him with a jab. Rachman doing a nice job inside. Something he hasn't always done. Good rally. Typifying what he's been trying to do by becoming more of an action fighter. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through six? <laughs> Jim, I still got it close. 58-56, four rounds to two. I seen Rahman. I thought Oleg Miskayev pulled out that fifth round. There's no question in my mind. But I tell you, I seen Rahman landing too many big right hands, too many good left jabs. You know, it's strength against strength, Jim. But Oleg is just too straight up, and Rock can't miss him. He gets in better shots. And I think that's what's winning him the fight, the clean shots. I have the fight even. I think maybe they're equally strong, but Rock is quicker. That's and that ultimately should win him the fight. That's the one advantage that he has. That should win the fight. And I think it's, there's been a momentum shift here. I think Rock was starting to feel that he's in control of the fight right now. And you heard Bobby Jackson trying to convince Moskayev between rounds that it's Rockman who's tired and that he, Moskayev, needs to launch another rally. But right now, it is Rockman who is landing the solider, sharper punches. He told him that Rockman is tired, but he didn't tell him that he's tired also. <laughs> Goes without saying. And he didn't also tell him to go to Rockman's body to wear Rockman down like Rockman has done to him all As night. Rockman has done to him. That's a very good point. Rachman fighting a complete fight. If a slightly more dangerous choice, then you might have expected him to make. I think Terry, uh, Moscow, that Rachman is tired, is actually unfair to, to Moscow because Rachman seems to be fresher than Moscow feels. So he has to be thinking, if Rachman's tired, what am I? <laughs> Rachman landing two left hooks and a right hand. Moscow backing up into the ropes and seeming to wobble again. Now, Moskayev loads up a big right hand and misses just under Rockman's chin. I tell you, Rockman takes a heck of a punch. In fact, it's almost safe for me to say that he takes a better punch than he throws. Let's go. Oh, good hook. If Moscow had a left hook, anything like Jefferson had in the last fight, he could make this fight very interesting. If there were more fighters with left hooks like that, the heavyweight division would be a lot better. Two has got one. And in December, tune in for Unitas, the next edition of HBO's documentary series, Fourth of the 20th Century. Join us for a look at number 19, Johnny Yu, the man considered the prototypical modern NFL quarterback. You'll learn how the man with the buzz cut and the black high tops became a football icon and a hero to an entire generation. His genesis from sandlot football to the Steelers to stardom with the Colts, now the stuff of legend, Unitas. Coming to HBO's December 8th.
drag your balls in. Fitting that we would promote the Unitas docu while we watch Hasim Rahman of Baltimore trying to beat Oleg Moskayev, originally from Kazakhstan, now from Staten Island. Jab, jab, touching, change your angle. A scheduled 10 between Oleg Moskayev and Asim Rachman. I tell you, Rachman is using his left jab to, new, to nullify uh, Moskayev's straight right hand very good tonight. Every time he sees that straight right hand come, he just sticks the jab out, and the right hand never hardly lands flush. Kayef lands a left hook. Rachman has been landing at a high rate for the last couple of rounds, both the body and the head. Oh. Right hand by Moskayev, and now Rachman wobbles. Rachman almost lost his legs there for a second. Regained them. Moskayev oh. lands again. Rachman with a hook. They trade and trade. what Oleg Moskav wants, and Rockman's legs are still wobbling. Well, half the round still to go. Stop, 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 come on, let's go. Professional oh. move by Rockman there, but he still doesn't have his legs. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on, get up. Come on, let's go. One of the questions in some fights about Rockman has oh. been standing up. To me, right next to me, right next to me, and he doesn't look floor. like he's gonna get up. No, he isn't. He's he not gonna get up anytime soon. Let's just be sure we can make room for medical personnel. And Dr. Polito is right here. He may have landed on his head. He did, he did, Larry. I tried my best to prevent it, but was unable to stop him from landing on his head. Let's get this out of the way. Dr. Dominic Coletto, right here with Rachman. There is a battle royal going on out here in the crowd. The doctor is asking The Rock if he knows where he is, and he does. He's answering the questions correctly. He knows the round. He knows the opponent. But he went through the ropes, across the table, onto the floor. Harold, is there a rule that needs to be cited here? Jim, let me tell you, you've got 20 seconds when you get knocked, knocked through the ropes like that. 20 seconds unassisted by your own people. He didn't get through in 20 seconds. I think Oleg Moskayev wins this fight by a knockout. That's all there is to it. I have to assume that's going to be the call. I'll tell you what, he was not going to get back there to the ropes either because he was out from that one fight. Yes, I believe so. That was a shot. We don't know if any ruling has been made. But they're lifting Moskayev up. Well, the overwhelming concern was about Rachman's safety and his condition after he came flying through the ropes, across the scorer's table, right past my monitor and onto the floor, inches away from me. Did I, I did the best I could with one hand to try to break his fall, but it was impossible, given the momentum of this big man. The CompuBox table has gone down behind us as well. Now Rock is up. Rock was courageously trying to survive the round without any legs. Yeah, he and there's the shot. Yes, that was over. That fight was done with right there. I hate to say it, but that fight was done with He right had there. already survived about a minute of the round with no legs, Roy. Yeah, that's right. And that's why you know that punch right there was it. And that's what I mean when I was telling Larry about taking chances. That really was a chance that he should not have taken. And you see, that's... That's your reporter leaning in from the top of the screen there, and that's Dr. Dominic Coletto. What an amazing statement on Coletto's alertness. He was there within seconds after Rockman hit the floor. With a wild melee breaking out in the back of this convention hall auditorium, the police are there in force. 
and seem to be making some order out of that chaotic moment and a half. And we have no idea, of course, what prompted that combat. As our attention was diverted by the situation of Rockman. 